All right, welcome in everybody. We're gonna get started here. We've got Vanessa to speak with you. Uh, before we get started, just a couple of housekeeping things. If you would like to record, just send me a message in the chat. We'll allow that. I will also be recording and uh, happy to distribute that once we're done here. Um, if you have a question, just use the raise your hand feature or put a message in the chat and we'll get those questions asked for you. All right, we're gonna start off and uh, let Vanessa give a quick statement and then we'll open it up to questions. So Vanessa, welcome and, and the floor is yours. Hi everyone, I'm just excited to chat and get started. All right, quick and to the point. First question is from <laughs> Daniel Sperry, Kansas City Star. Hey, Vanessa, welcome to Kansas City. Um, just tell me a little bit about your decision-making process. Why Kansas City? I know you spent majority of your life in Chicago land and uh, down in Champaign. So why kind of get out of that and come this way? Yeah, good question. Um, I think it was just for me a time for a change, um, kind of a time to get outside my comfort zone. Cause like you said, I've been in Chicago, went to school at university of Illinois. So kind of always in that area and kind of been pretty comfortable and um, I had the opportunity to play overseas in Australia and that was a big I think growth for me just kind of getting outside my comfort zone and, and pushing me in a different way so I thought that this would be a, a great opportunity within the time of my career to kind of do that. I know uh, things in Chicago have been kind of difficult in the last couple of years just did the current provide a, a stability in a sense in, in your conversations with them that maybe Chicago didn't anymore? Yeah, I think what Kansas City is offering is kind of really the only club um, in the world offering. They have their own women's facility, their own stadium being built, and, and that's just to Kansas City. It's really no other clubs out there doing that. So that definitely plays a part in it. And um, they just offer everything a player kind of needs in order to succeed. So um, that that was great to hear. And and I was honored to kind of have that opportunity to, to come to Kansas City. And then uh, just one last one in your conversations with Coach Potter, how have, um, you know, how, how do you maybe see yourself fitting into the way that this team plays? Um, I know you got a chance to see him a little bit, a couple times last year. So um, how do you see yourself fitting into what, we want to do or what they want to do on the field? Yeah, I think that they kind of play with a style of just some freedom and they have, at least it looks like a lot of fun while they're playing. And I think I've always kind of been just a soccer minded kind of footballer and who likes to kind of play the game and not have it be so structured all the time. So I think that style kind of fits me and, and my, my style. So I'm excited to kind of get in and, and learn and, and see what they've been kind of learning and their principles and kind of um, try to gel and, and get in and help in whatever way I can. Thanks, Daniel. Up next, Dad Bell from the Blue Testament. Hi, Vanessa. <clears throat> uh, welcome to Kansas City. Um, did it help in making that decision knowing that Morgan was coming or did you know that when, when you were <laughs> signing? Um. <laughs> Funny, we didn't really talk about it much beforehand. Um, so it kind of just was meant to be. Uh, she did tell, she committed a little bit before me. So she did inform me. Um, but when she did, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm also talking to them too. <laughs> so it definitely is um, super nice to have someone coming into the club at the same time that um, I've known, played with, and is re are really good friends with. So um, it's definitely a bonus. <laughs> It's always good to have that friendly face, but on the field, even you, you guys will have immediate chemistry, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. We've played together for a long time. Um, started with the U20 youth national team and, and then played club obviously for four, four years now, five years. Not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, we love playing together. We, we gel really well together. So um, it'll be nice on the field to also have that friendly face. And then uh, you talked about, you know, how much fun Kansas City was having last year. You know, it's an expectation now for celebrations, for goals. Do you have some, <laughs> are you starting to work on those already? 
uh, I think I'm definitely going to need some advice from them, <laughs> see what they have planned and, and try to get some ideas. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Up next is Allie Trost. Allie, go ahead. Hey, Vanessa, welcome to Kansas City. Thanks. Thanks. What were some of your early impressions? I know you mentioned the facilities and everything like that, but you know, all of that from afar, I'm sure is, is one thing, but then when you get up close to everything, just what, what maybe struck you or, or kind of surprised you, what, just your overall impression? Yeah, I think that their um, just work environment is very inclusive and, and supportive and everyone's kind of working under one roof. So it allows everyone to kind of get on the same page, gel and, and just have that kind of family oriented feel to it. Um, that was one thing that really struck me that I really enjoyed and liked and, and just to see the chemistry between the players, but also through the staff, I think is super important. And then when it comes to just some career and on-field goals, what are, what are some of the things on your list that you're really looking to achieve and, and what's left, um, you know, that you really want to do at this point in your career? Yeah, I, I just want to keep growing as a player. I think, um, the biggest thing for me is I want to win a championship. Um, gotten there so many times, so close, and just not winning it, it it really strikes, just makes you really feel like you need to go get it. So I'm excited to kind of get that opportunity, and and that is definitely a goal of mine. And I know it's a goal of this club to win a championship. So um, I'm excited to try and try and go get that. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Allie. Up next, Claire Watkins. Claire, go ahead. Hey, Vanessa, congrats on a huge move. Um, Thanks. Just wanted to ask, you know, the, the Kansas City midfield is, is deep and they've played with five, they've played with three. Um, obviously, you have experience, you're known as a playmaker, but this past year you've played a little bit further back. If you could choose, just like perfect world, dream, dream scenario, where would you like to fit in positionally and, and what role would you like to play in the midfield? Yeah, I think one thing that I enjoyed when I was talking with Matt was that they play with freedom and, and movement. And I think that there's no necessarily a strict six, eight or 10 sometimes. And, and, I, and I like that and I enjoy that. So um, I would say my strengths are kind of being able to connect the lines and, and connect the defense to the offense and, and create. So I would say that that usually is an eight or a 10 role um, that I, I enjoy playing and I liked playing deeper this year. It gave me a different perspective on the game and, and allowed me to kind of push myself in, in different areas. So um, hopefully just kind of gelling those two, playing deeper and higher up the field and um, just kind of connecting those and it'll help me become a better player. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Claire. Uh, Wes? Underwood from Sports Talk Podcast has dropped a couple questions in the chat for you. Um, you've touched on this a little bit, but other than the facilities, what else drew you to come to Kansas City? Yeah, I think it was a lot of things. Um, the city I've heard is amazing and, and a huge soccer city and, and just a sports city in general. So that is awesome to have as, as an athlete, having the city and the fans behind them and and support them. And, um, that's super contagious as a player. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, just, just the players and, and what they put on the field and, and the joy that they had when they played, I think that's super important, um, for me as an athlete is, is to enjoy playing. And sometimes in the professional kind of sports environment, it can get pretty stressful and, and it doesn't always help your um, performance on the field. So I think just having the joy of, of playing and kind of relaxing and going out there to compete is, is important as well. Sorry about that. The, uh, he also asks, uh, the team here is known for stellies and having fun. Um, do you have any, I think you said you need some help on some, um, but <laughs> yeah. do you have any other uh, any pregame rituals or anything else you'd like to, uh, to do that you can bring here? Um, I'm pretty boring when it comes to that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I'll definitely kind of feed off the energy from the team and, um, 
I think it'll be a good fit for me just to kind of relax and have some fun and, and enjoy the game and um, enjoy the, the celebrations and just the, the fun on the field. Good. And one more from Wes. What are your thoughts on barbecue? <laughs> I've heard it's great here in Kansas City, and I'm, I'm honestly super excited to try um, all different kinds of barbecue. I think I've been a, a huge foodie living here in Chicago. Um, so much food to try, and I'm excited to do that in Kansas City. All right, thanks. We're going to go back to Thad Bell from Blue Testament. Hi, sorry, I came up with another question. Um, the uh, This is like the first free agent class out of under the new CABA where everybody or more people was available to be free agents. Do you know, how does it feel to be like one of those first free agents signed in this? Yeah, I think it just honestly shows how much this league has grown over the years. Um, I would say us older players have kind of put in a lot to to grow this league and and push it to where it is today. And and kind of getting the opportunity to be a free agent is is huge. And um, I'm I'm super lucky to be one of those first ones to kind of experience it. It was harder than I anticipated, <laughs> but honestly, it it is great for the players and it's great for the league long term. You say it was harder than you anticipated. How was it harder? <laughs> um, just kind of obviously never experienced it before. So it was all new to me and um, definitely didn't have kind of the knowledge of what it was going to be like. So it was just kind of navigating it and, and trying to do your best while you're, you're doing, doing that. <laughs> Thanks. And again, welcome to Gain City. Thank you. Thanks, Ed. And then we're going to go back to Ali Trost. Ali, just like a fun one. This can be anything not soccer related. Um, like, what are some things that you like to do outside of soccer off the field? Like, if people were to run into you in Kansas City, what would you be doing? Yeah, I have a five year old mini golden doodle, and he's usually with me all the time. So, I'll probably be walking him and um, making his life as happy as I can. And um, I'm a huge foodie, like I mentioned before. So, love trying new foods and new restaurants. And, um, I'm also a coffee lover, so coffee shops and just fun environments to kind of go out and, and relax and just enjoy the city. I think you've come to the right place. It sounds like all of the <laughs> things that I know <laughs> the team does a lot, you know, spends a lot of time doing. So enjoy and uh, welcome to Casey again. Thank you. Thanks, Allie. Any other questions for Vanessa? All right, we're gonna let her go then and we will see you all back uh, with the draft coming up in January. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.